Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into today's video, I wanted to tell you about our sponsor, Factor. Factor is a meal service that takes the hassle out of meal prep and planning. Factor cuts out stressful meal planning and extensive prepping so meals come together in minutes. Factor even offers meals for those looking to follow keto, low calorie, or vegan and vegetarian lifestyles. Fitness starts with food, and Factor makes it possible for you to achieve your daily goals through nutritious, purposeful eating. They have ingredients with integrity, and they are dietitian approved. Factor's no-hassle prepared foods make sure you always have something nutritious on hand when you don't have time to think about making lunch or dinner. Grab a prepared smoothie or keto shake for a quick snack, or heat and eat a chef-quality meal in just two minutes with no prep or cleanup necessary so you can stay focused on what you love to do. Personally, the best thing about Factor to me is that it offers convenient nutrition. Nowadays, the only quick options are unhealthy fast food or overprocessed, stale tasting frozen dinners. Factor's meals ensure you always have something nutritious and delicious on hand. Get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life using my link. That means that you could choose two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. Click on the link in the description below or scan the QR code on your phone. Thanks to Factor for sponsoring today's video. When you give them a try, you help support us to continue offering you all great content, like tonight's game. So thanks. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have our Mox Pro patron Peter from Wizards of the Coast, Powden Kirik, son of Yogmoth. This is a mono black storm list that uses its commander to cheat on mana costs. Peter's opening hand contains an Ancient Tomb, Lotus Petal, Calling the Weak, Beseech the Queen, Peer into the Abyss, Deadly Rollick, and a Violin Tumor. Next, we have our Mox Pearl Patron Chris, piloting Sisse, Weather Like Captain. This deck uses its commander to search up legendary planeswalkers to combo off and win. Chris's opening hand contains an Enlightened Tutor, Misty Rainforest, Esper Sentinel, Swan Song, Noble Hierarch, Fierce Guardianship, and an offer you can't refuse. After that, we have Playing with Power member Zeb, piloting Lotho, Corrupt Sheriff. This deck seeks to generate mana through its commander and wins by executing an aristocrat style loop. Zeb's opening hand contains a Sensei's Divining Top, Rassicat the Foulblooded, Chrome Mox, Plaza of Heroes, Cabal Therapy, Dreneth Magistrate, and a Vanishing Verse. Finally, we have Playing with Power member TK, piloting Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. This deck seeks to ramp on mana using its commander and then cheat massive threats onto the battlefield. TK's opening hand contains an Elvish Mystic, Yavamai Coast, Forest, Waterlog Grove, Fierce Guardianship, Soul Ring, and a Thorn Mammoth. Without further ado, let's kick off this gaudy garish grotesque game. Peter won the level up challenge and gets to start us off. Peter draws a card for turn and plays an Ancient Tomb. He casts a Lotus Petal. He casts a Chrome Mox imprinting Calling the Weak. He taps Ancient Tomb and pays 6 life to help cast his commander, Kirik, son of Yogmoth. He pays 6 life through Kirik to cast Beseech the Queen. Kirik triggers and gets a plus 1 plus 1 counter. He fetches up a Sacrifice into his hand. He pays 2 life to cast Sacrifice, sacrificing Kirik as an additional cost, adding 7 black. He casts Peer to the Abyss. He draws half of the cards in his library and loses half of his life rounded up. He casts Mox Diamond, discarding Phyrexian Tower. He casts Mox Amber. He casts Dark Ritual, adding 3 black. He casts Mana Vault. He casts Exhum, returning Kirk to the battlefield. He casts Unmarked Grave, fetching up a Scourge Familiar to his graveyard. He casts Necrotic Ooze. Now that Necrotic Ooze has the activated abilities of Scourge Familiar, Peter activates Necrotic Ooze 10 times, discarding 10 cards, adding 10 black. He casts Grey Merchant of Asphodel. It enters, each opponent loses 7 life, and Peter gains 21. He casts Chainer, Dementia Master. He activates Necrotic Ooze, discarding 3 cards, adding 3 black. He casts Demir Houseguard. He activates Demir Houseguard, sacrificing Grey Merchant. He pays 9 life to activate Chainer, returning Grey Merchant to the battlefield. It enters, each opponent loses 9 life, and Peter gains 27 life. He presents a loop of sacrificing Grey Merchant to Demir Houseguard and paying 9 life to reanimate it through Chainer. He does this over and over, draining the table, and Peter wins the game. In this game, Chris's opening hand contains a Lotho, Corrupt Sheriff, Badlands, Dauntless Dismantler, Ink Moth Nexus, and his Linda Mulligans are Rocco Cabaretti Caterer, Silence, and Salvala, Heart of the Wilds. Zeb's opening hand contains an Ad Nauseam, Takanuma Abandoned Mire, Arcane Signet, The One Ring, Lotus Petal, Enlightened Tutor, and his London Mulligan is a Tainted Pact. TK's opening hand contains an Elvish Mystic, Felware Stone, Wooded Foothills, Yavamai Coast, and his London Mulligans are Gaius Cradle, Ottawara Soaring City, and a Chain of Vapor. Peter's opening hand contains a Grim Monolith, Snuff Out, City of Traders, Chain of Smog, Diabolic Tutor, and an Orcish Bowmasters. And Chris gets to start us off. Chris draws, plays a Tundra, and passes. Zeb draws and plays a Takanuma, Abandoned Mire. He casts a Lotus Petal. He casts his commander, Lotho, Corrupt Sheriff. Zeb passes. TK draws and plays a Wooded Foothills. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts an Elvish Mystic and ends his turn. Peter draws and plays a City of Traders. He casts Grim Monolith. Peter passes the turn. Chris draws and plays a Badlands. He casts his own Lotho, Corrupt Sheriff. Chris gives the turn to Zeb. 
Zeb draws and casts a Soul Wreck. He casts an Arcane Signet. Both Lothos trigger, both create a treasure, and Chris and Zeb each lose a life. Zeb casts Dranith Magistrate. The table immediately hates him forever, and Zeb passes to TK. TK draws and plays a Gotham Maya Coast. He casts Simic Signet. He casts Grim Monolith. Both Lothos trigger, Chris and Zeb each lose a life and create a treasure. TK ends his turn. Peter draws and floats mana from City of Traders. He plays a Swamp for turn. City of Traders triggers and Peter sacrifices it. He pays 4 life to cast Snuff Out, killing Dranith Magistrate. He pays 6 life to cast his commander, Kirik, son of Yawgmoth. Both Lothos trigger and Chris and Zeb lose a life and create a treasure. He pays 4 life to cast Diabolic Tutor. Kirik triggers and gets a plus 1 plus 1 counter. Then Peter fetches up a card into his hand. He casts a Mana Crypt and passes the turn. Chris draws and casts Lavinia, Azorius Renegade. He casts his commander, Sisse, Weatherlight Captain. Lothos trigger and Chris and Zeb lose a life and create a treasure. Chris ships the turn to Zeb. Zeb draws, plays a bright climb pathway, and passes. TK draws and taps Yava Mycos to help cast his commander, Kennen, Bonder Prodigy. He casts a Felwar Stone. Lothos trigger and Chris and Zeb lose a life and create a treasure. TK passes. At the end of TK's turn, Peter pays two life to flash in an Orcish Bowmasters. Kirk triggers and gets a counter. Bowmasters enters, kills Chris's Lotho, and Peter amasses one. The turn moves to Peter. During his upkeep, Peter wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays an Ink Moth Nexus. He pays 4 life to cast Sidisi, Undead Vizier. Kirk triggers and gets a counter. Sidisi enters, exploits his Orc army, and Peter fetches up a card into his hand. He moves to combat and attacks Zeb with Kirk. Zeb takes it, and Peter gains 5 life. Finished up, Peter passes to Chris. Chris draws and casts Mystic Remora. He casts Dauntless Dismantler. Lotho triggers and Zeb loses a life and creates a treasure. He moves to combat and attacks Zeb with Sisse. Zeb takes four and Chris passes. At the end of Chris's turn, Zeb casts Enlightened Tutor. Remora triggers and Zeb pays for it. In response, Chris pays two life to cast Mental Misstep, countering Tutor. The turn moves to Zeb. Zeb draws, takes no actions, and passes. At the end of Zeb's turn, TK activates Kennen. He looks at the top five, putting Spell Skite onto the battlefield. TK draws, takes no actions, and passes. During his upkeep, Peter loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and pays 4 life to help cast Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Kirk triggers and gets a counter. In response, TK activates Kinnon, looking at the top 5, failing to find. In response, Zeb casts Path to Exile, targeting Lavinia. Remora triggers, Chris draws, Bowmasters triggers, kills Lotho, and Peter amasses 1. Then Path exiles Lavinia, and Chris fails to find a basic land. With Grey Merchant still on the stack, Zeb casts Ad Nauseam. Remora triggers, Chris draws, Bowmasters triggers, pings Zeb, and amasses 1. Adnaz resolves, and Zeb reveals a Mox Opal, Toxic Deluge, Wishclaw Talisman, Necromancy, Meat Hook Massacre, Plaza of Heroes, Reanimate, Demonic Tutor, Cumbal, Console of Allocation, Talisman of Hierarchy, Vernon Catacombs, Springleaf Drum, Archivist of Ogma, Fracture, and then he thinks for a bit. He knows that any instance he casts right now will trigger Bowmasters and kill him, so he thinks of a way out. He decides, after a lot of deliberation, to keep going. He reveals an Eldrazi Displacer, killing him. Then Grey Merchant enters, each opponent loses 8 life, and Peter gains 16. Peter pays 4 life to cast Grim Tutor. Remora triggers, Chris draws, Bowmasters triggers, and targets Sisse. In response, Chris casts Legolas's Quick Reflexes, untapping Sisse and giving her Hexproof until the end of turn. Then Bowmaster's ability fizzles. Then Peter fetches up a card into his hand and loses 3 life. He pays 2 life to cast Sacrifice, sacrificing Sidisi as an additional cost. Kirik and Remora triggers, Chris draws, Bowmasters triggers, pings Chris, and Peter amasses 1. Then Kirik gets a counter, and Peter adds 5 black. He casts Flesh Rither. Kirk triggers and gets a counter. He pays 4 life to activate Flesh Rither's ability, sacrificing it and fetching up a Necrotic Ooze onto the battlefield. He pays 4 life to activate Flesh Rither's ability through Necrotic Ooze, sacrificing it and fetching up a Balthor the Defiled onto the battlefield. He pays 6 life to activate Balthor, exiling it and returning all black and red creatures from the graveyard to the battlefield. Sidisi enters, Peter explores Grey Merchant, fetching up a card into his hand. He pays 4 life to activate Flesh Rither, sacrificing it, fetching up Violent Tumor onto the battlefield. Violent Tumor enters, and Peter fetches up a Chainer, Dementia Master, into his graveyard. He moves to combat and attacks Chris with Kirik. Chris takes it, and Peter gains 9 life. In his second main phase, Peter pays 9 life to activate Chainer through Necrotic Ooze, returning Grey Merchant of Asphodel to the battlefield. Grey Merchant enters, each opponent loses 12, and Peter gains 24. He casts Culling the Weak, sacrificing Sidisi as an additional cost. Remora triggers, and Chris draws, then Peter adds 4 black. He pays 9 life to activate Chainer, returning Sidisi to the battlefield. Sidisi enters, Peter exploits Grey Merchant, fetching up a card into his hand. He casts Demir Houseguard. Peter presents a loop of reanimating Grey Merchant, draining the table, and sacrificing Merchant to Houseguard. He does this until the table is dead. And Peter wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fun set of games tonight. Congrats to Peter on both of his wins. He had an expert knowledge of his deck. He knew his lines inside and out and knew exactly what he needed at every point in order to win the game. The most viable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Kirik, son of Yawgmoth. It goes without saying that this card is the crux of Peter's entire deck. Without the ability to cheat mana costs, Peter's deck would not function at all. The moment this card hits the battlefield, it is usually game over for the table. 
Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time and we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.